One Southside man says he lives in a parking ticket trap and he walked the streets north and south to prove it. In fact, he believes drivers in his Southside neighborhood get more tickets than Northsiders. CBS 2 investigator Dorothy Tucker reports. Let's park that right here. Too close to the stop sign, violating the 30 feet limit. So Devon Favor has got not one, but two $60 tickets he deserved. And I feel that it's a ticket trap. Why? Favors argues there are not enough no parking signs in his neighborhood warning drivers parking this close to a stop sign is illegal. This is an example of a stop sign that has the correct signage next to it that determines the distance to park to avoid getting a $60 ticket. Favors wants more warning signs. Because if you drive around here, you'll see multiple tickets, you'll see a few boots, on a car. So this web developer who is a novice at advocacy is on a mission fighting for this small section of South Shore known as O'Keefe. I walked every single block and did an account and assessment of every corner that needed a sign. And then Favors took a ride to the north side, 16 miles to Roscoe Village, armed with pen and paper. He did the same thing. I went down school, Ravenswood, Walcott. I went down the entire neighborhood. A Roscoe Village. His conclusion? Roscoe Village is healthy with these signs. So if somebody parks, they know it because you see a sign next to a stop sign. Over here, it's not, it's a different situation. After favors counted, we counted. That person could get a ticket. We compared 38 blocks in South Shore's O'Keefe area to a much larger 65 blocks in Roscoe Village. In South Shore, 35% of the stop signs have warning signs posted. In Roscoe Village, it's 65 percent. Signs do help. They remind people like where you can and cannot park. More evidence? Using raw data from ProPublica, we found from January through April of this year, drivers in this section of South Shore received 73 tickets for parking too close to stop signs versus just 23 in Roscoe Village. Mike Brockway is the self-described parking ticket the, geek. Why the discrepancy between the north side and the south side? I don't know for sure. I don't know if it's race-based. I know it's unfair. What also seems unfair? The amount of money collected by the Department of Revenue from 2007 through 2017 from the two very different communities. Roscoe Village with a median income of $110,000. Residents here paid or owed $63,226 in fines, fees, and penalties for stop sign tickets. South Shore's median income is just $28,000, but the ticket tally is $152,841, more than double. I had over $5,000 in parking tickets. Look me up. Brandon Johnson says it's hard to catch up once you get behind. I just got my license back last year. I've moved past anger. Uh, now it's at a point where we have to have immediate action to address this issue. The Department of Transportation installs the signs, but it's the alderman who decides who gets them. Favor sent a series of emails to his alderman, Leslie Hairston, so that's where we turned. So you targeting the lower income neighborhoods who are least able to pay, and that is wrong. That's unfair. And that is exactly his point. And I agree. Does it make sense to make an appeal for more warning signs? I, I can do that, yes. And I'll let you know when they go up. Dorothy Tucker, CBS2 Investigators. Favor says his neighborhood needs 74 signs. CDOT tells us it would cost $150 to install each sign with a total cost of $11,000. Alderman Hairston tells us CDOT has now begun a survey to determine where to put additional signs in South Shore.